But then one other thing happened to Polypus. There was another company, pretty shady company, that was following our intellectual property. It's a type of lawsuit called an interference patent lawsuit, where they copy your exact claims into their patent application. And then the patent office sees it as an exact duplicate, and then it launches this investigation. So they filed this interference lawsuit against us. And they were backed by a hedge fund, a guy named Jim Simon's probably worth in excess of $20 billion. So they had a lot of money to come at us. And we had to make a decision like, do we fight or just kind of roll over and just take whatever deal they're going to give us? And we all made the decision like, fuck it, we're going to fight these guys. They reached out to the guy who literally wrote the book on interference law. So we hire him as our attorney. And then I put one of my guys on the case. He says, read their claims and look at our patents and then work with this law firm that's going to fight for us and then build a case. So then the case was held in DC, right? D-O-S-P-T-O Appellate Court. And we just drive through. To the point where the judges started yelling at the opposition, their lawyers saying, this case should never have seen the light of day. And you wasted all of our time and you wasted this company's time. And then they took it on appeal to the federal circuit and we beat them again. But as we went through that, the scientist that we assigned to the case, he learned a lot about patent law and he writes our patents now. So now our patents are written by not just a patent attorney, but someone who's a scientist who works with the technology as part of the team. Our patents are really strong now because they're very detailed and we can file provisional applications in a day or an hour we have to. That was certainly a learning process, a painful one, but in the end it paid off.